Rats, if you spend hours editing like I do, well, like John does, you might sometimes wonder, is there a desk that I can get where I can sit or I can stand and can I actually get one for a reasonable price at all? Or are they all four or $500 like you find on Amazon? Well, today we're gonna find out. So to answer this question, KKL has sent us their electric height adjustable desk. This is a 55 inch model. They sent this to us free of charge, but we're checking it out. We're reviewing it and seeing what we think, giving you, giving you our most honest opinions on it. It goes for around 200, currently on Amazon's 270, but the price has varied a little bit. I saw it at 199 originally. So it may continue to go up. They may put it back on sale. I don't know. Let's open this thing up and see what it's like. Always remember to have a small, sharp unboxing knife when you're gonna unbox something like this. The last thing you wanna do is put a big old scratch in your brand new desk, so don't be careless with something too big. Use something small. Watch me stab myself while trying to set this down. This thing weighs 85 pounds in the box. It is very heavy. Looks like it took a little beating and shipping. Hopefully, no worse for the wear. Let's find out. All right, we got a manual, electric height adjustable desk user manual, blah, blah, blah. We'll need that when it comes to building it. First piece right here looks like this is the top of the desk. Now this is the rustic brown. Looks pretty good. I like the wood on it. Second piece must be the other half of the top. I did not realize the top came in two pieces, but hey, I'm just gonna take everything out, unpackage it, set it aside, and then it's gonna be time to figure out how to build this thing. <laughs> not to be opened by unauthorized personnel. I don't know what that means. I hope we're authorized. I'm not gonna lie, these components are heavy. When you go to open this thing up, be prepared. This thing is supposed to be able to lift 176 pounds. So we're gonna put it to the test and see. But with the weight of these components, I would think this thing is gonna be pretty sturdy when it's done. Good thing I just freaking vacuumed. see some cable management bits. Those are gonna be valuable later. Oh, and this must be the motor, because this thing is probably the heaviest component that was in there. Look at this humongous and very long box this came in. You know what that means? Oh, <laughs> Maybe I need to turn this around. Oh God. <laughs> this is not working at all. The Okay, the box did not work. It just fell apart. That was mildly disappointing, but it was not an advertised part of the video. Okay. <laughs> Desk is fully assembled and ready to be used. We got this panel right here. It's digital. It'll automatically shut off after a few seconds if no one's messed with it. You got a simple up, down, and your four memory slots. So right now, one is still programmed at the bottom, two and three but four is programmed all the way at the top. So let's see what we got here. Bottom height, you are looking at 27 inches. It doesn't have any weight on it yet. So we're gonna test it under load, but right now the motor is really quiet and it goes up, looks like to 45 and a half inches. I think this is centimeters right here. And I don't see that there is a way to change that. I'm gonna double check that I'm right. Press and hold the up and button four. This is very uneventful so far. Okay. <laughs> now the manual may say press and hold the up button and button four to switch, but it's press and hold the down button. So now we've got inches for those of you like me who measure life in inches. I'm pretty impressed so far with this, so let's test something out. This desk has a feature they advertise as anti-collision technology. Uh, what that means is if the desk is lifting and it senses that it's hitting something, instead of going all the way and, and pushing until it reaches the height it plans to due to whatever memory setting you have it on, it's gonna stop and then lower itself a little bit. So we're gonna play around with that real quick. So if something were to hit it right here, it stops and it goes back down a little bit. Now it's a significant amount it's, it takes to stop this. So like 
This isn't gonna be if you had like a plate of food or something right here and it starts to knock that food. It's not gonna sense something like that. This is like if you pushed it back under a ledge or something like this and it starts to push on that ledge. Instead of snapping that ledge off, it's gonna try to stop and go back down a little bit instead of going all the way like you said it was going to. It looks like it should work from any side. Like I said, it is a significant push that I'm doing to stop it, but it will not work if you were underneath it. It's gonna be less likely it's gonna crush something on its way down, but it will still continue to go down if you tell it to go down. The anti-collision is gonna work going up, which is a nifty feature in case you end up somewhere you don't wanna be, but it's not gonna stop you from spilling a glass of water. For that feature, at least, the desk is nicely finished. It's supposed to be pretty well water resistant. These four programmable memories, like right now we got one at the bottom, so if you're someone who's sitting in a chair and you don't like it quite there, you could set it to say 29 and a half and you can hold two. And once you hear that beep, that's now programmed. So if I go to one and I switch back and I go to two, it's gonna stop there every time. Now I'm five foot 10, I would say probably, probably about 39 inches. But John, you're what, you're six foot one? Let's go to the max and see if that's too tall for you. So you'd say that would work there. It would work, I'd probably want it right about here. Okay. Ish. That's comfortable. That's about 42 and a half. So 42 and a half, so even if it was someone four or five inches taller than you, they could probably get this tall enough. I think so, yeah, somebody probably comfortably six five. Unless you're super tall, like six, 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 seven, this will probably work for you no matter anywhere in between those heights. So that's super cool. I, I am surprised by how tall it gets. That is taller than my couch. <laughs> it still feels quite stable. It's on carpet, but I mean, if you're working on this, this is gonna be fine. And I, you can still, you can mess with the levelers on the bottom and make it a little more stable, but it's, you're gonna, you're gonna be real hard pressed to knock this over at this height. Most of us don't have a ton of stuff on our desk. This advertises it can handle up to 176 pounds and still lift it up. John, do you weigh less than 176 pounds? I weigh 165. 165, you wanna get up on this and see if it can lift you? Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel just sitting on it? Feels nice and sturdy? It, yeah, actually that's surprising. I'm gonna really rock this thing. I'm not moving the, the feet. It's making a little more noise, but it's not noisy still. And you're 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 not pushing the limit, but you're at the limit. <laughs> I still feel safe. You still say I'm impressed. I will say that is actually pretty cool. When they said 176 pounds, I was like, yeah, it's probably gonna be struggling. It doesn't seem like it's struggling. It seems like it's doing fine. Watch how fast it drops. Yeah, let's see. Oh, wow. It doesn't actually drop that fast with you on there. That is... Nice consistency. I am I am in shock right now. Dang. Well, apparently this can double as a massage table. <laughs> if for some reason at some point you get an error code, this thing isn't wanting to work, all you gotta do is unplug it for 20 seconds, let the memory run out on it, plug it back in, it should be working great from there. Uh, if you're someone who uses headphones, gamer headphones, work headphones, a headset, it does have a couple side hooks down here. And if you saw the install video, we showed you, you got one on either side here, cable management spots on both sides for you to make your desk look nice and pretty. This is gonna be going up here. This is gonna be Nat's work desk and she's super excited because she gets tired of sitting all day when she's working. I can't think of a reason not to recommend this desk. I mean, we're trying, we're trying to find it. We're trying to see if it can actually handle the weight it claims. It looks great. It feels stable. I can't really knock it. But the power cord's a decent length. You have to remember, don't have it barely reach the power plug. It needs to have the room to go all the way up and all the way down. So the power cord could be a little longer. That's kind of nitpicky, but maybe that's one thing that I would say could have been improved. And then maybe having a bit more of a made spot on the bottom where we showed you. Having a spot specifically for this instead of just having a kind of cable management hook it up there is maybe the only other thing, but I mean, at this price and in comparison to the other electric standing desks I've seen, this thing is an amazing value. If you want one, it comes in all black, it comes in this or some other options. I will leave a link in the description for you. Check it out. I'm, I'm super surprised by this desk and I'm excited to see this work out for Natalie. So this is awesome. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in another reality. I want to say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours. Gallium VR, Chris Deputy, Legacy VR, Bagel, and a Fissy King Sloth, our current channel members. Our patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, K Panda K, Fred Nepotebo, Ege Karatosh, Maddie's, Gallium VR, Orange VR, and Mr. Dodojo. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the channel.